Hello and welcome to a New Year's edition of Caltech's Video Magazine. The relocation of our corporate headquarters to Singapore is well underway. We hope that each of you are adjusting well to the changes 1999 brings. As you know, as of January of this year, Caltex has changed its name to Caltex Corporation. The name change reflects the rapid growth in the non-petroleum business sectors. Caltex Corporation is boldly moving forward with a broader base of activities. In this edition of our show, we will get an update on the financial state of the company, see the splendor of the Asian Games, and take a journey to the country of Cambodia. First, with the New Year's message, here is Chairman David Lawsmith. I wish each of you and your families very good health and happiness in 1999. As I mentioned in my earlier message, the new Caltex is now. We have reorganized our company to facilitate the achievement of operating excellence in a much oversupplied market. These changes were most timely in light of the improving but still depressed Asian economies. However, we are also faced with an increasing competitive situation. Change and restructuring in the industry throughout the world is continuing. The business units are in place. The pride and enthusiasm is evident and follows a successful partnership at the recent Asian Games held in Bangkok. The corporation's move to Singapore is on schedule. The extraordinary changes taking place in our industry, of course, cause concern to all of us. No one can predict the outcome, but it is certain that the future will continue to be different from the past, providing us with new opportunities and challenges. We must, therefore, continue to focus on delivering outstanding service to our customers, the sharing of knowledge and business experiences across the entire Caltex world, and accelerating the attainment of our objectives. By doing so, we will ensure the continued success of the business and our future. Thank you for your support and commitment. With you, I look forward to an exciting and successful year. Best wishes. The 1998 Asian Games in Bangkok are now history. After months of preparation, during some difficult times, the Games were a critical success for Asia and for the Caltex brand. The opening ceremonies of the Asian Games brought the majestic beauty of Asia and its people to center stage. Chai Yo, the official mascot of the Games, made a stunning entrance before a television audience of millions. This was the 13th annual Asian Games, and Caltex is proud to have been the only petroleum company to be an official partner of the Games. This position was utilized to its fullest, strengthening our brand in the region through numerous cross-promotional incentives. The campaign was based upon the stars of the game's concept, linking the Caltex brand with images of athletic excellence. Diverse and highly creative advertising involving giveaways and Asian Games tie-in promotions provided an overall presence for Caltex in the region. Caltex products carried an Asian Games emblem to further link our image to the Games. This television commercial called Discover the Best celebrated the story of one father watching his son grow to be a contender in the Asian Games. Its cinematic qualities and personal statement put a human face on the Games and on the Caltex commitment to the Asian region. There is no energy greater than that which drives the human spirit. To achieve perfection if only for a moment, and remembered forever. This December, the Asian Games tap the energies of Asian nations. Not just to see who wins, but to discover the best in all of us. Dad, they want me to run in Asian Games. Celtics, partners with the Asian Games. 
Caltex used its sponsorship benefits to invite key customers and friends of the company to the games. Caltex chairman David Law Smith and other executives acted as hosts to these guests. The spirit of excellence. The willingness to strive for and see beyond your dreams. This forward-thinking attitude provided a universal theme for all that was Caltex surrounding the 1998 Asian Games. In the day-by-day -day workings of Caltex, taxation issues can be easily overlooked, but they are of the utmost importance. In our next story, we look at the people behind the scenes in our tax division who protect the interests of Caltex on taxation issues around the world. At Caltex, our tax division is diligent in making sure that taxes on revenues are figured in a manner which will best serve the interests of our shareholders. The tax function at Caltex is important because tax liabilities can be a large percentage of our tax of our net income and through prop, proper planning we can reduce that liability significantly within the law and result in higher net profits for the company. Thorough research into the applicable laws is conducted prior to each transaction. One of our, our big uh, tasks is, is to comply with the law but to do so in, in a way that minimizes our tax liability. So while we are doing that research, we are looking for ways that we can fit the transaction within the parameters of the applicable law, uh, but at the same time minimize the, uh, the tax burden to the company. Having these tax professionals on the job can lead to substantial savings for the corporation. One such instance was the sale in 1996 of NPRC in Japan to the Nippon Oil Company. The sale price, approximately two billion U.S. dollars. We had a substantial amount of tax due on that sale and quite a bit of tax planning went into minimizing that, uh, that tax and we were able to reduce it significantly. Our tax division commonly works hand in hand with the legal department due to the complex nature of most transactions. It is a relationship which serves both divisions well. We think that it's axiomatic that uh, whenever a transaction is being contemplated, whether it's a purchase or whether it's a sale such as the NPRC sale of an interest or a merger or an acquisition, whatever it might be, that uh, today in these days and times, uh, uh, tax planning is so much an, an important and critical element of it that uh, if you don't get it, uh, you, you're a very foolish person. And if you don't get it at the right time, which is usually at the very beginning. In the U.S., corporations are taxed at 35 percent. Our tax division is the front line in dealing with the Internal Revenue Service regarding all transactions. All Caltex companies should do their part by keeping accurate records. This will allow our tax professionals to adequately defend the corporation's interest in audit situations. Now, it's time for a video profile of one country in which Caltex operates. We take you to Cambodia, a country with a rich cultural history, where Caltex has made big strides in the marketplace in just a few short years. Cambodia has always had an air of mystery. Ancient temples buried deep in the jungle constructed by god kings eight centuries ago. History hasn't always been kind to Cambodia, but throughout all of its trials, Cambodia has presented a stoic face to the world. There are new faces in Cambodia today, and Caltex is one of them. But ironically, it was this logo that prompted the Caltex return to Cambodia. The first Caltex station opened across the street from the Shell station, and the competition for market share was on. Always trust your car to the man who wears a star. Within a few short years, Caltex has grown to be bigger than Shell, grabbing 20% share of the market in Phnom Penh. Caltex staff and products such as Techron are attracting customer loyalty. Generally, Caltex outlets are set on bigger sites with better presentation and in more key locations than the competition. Caltex is close to their customers. With most of the traffic being motorcycles, Caltex designed this smaller, more accessible round pump station. 
Caltex is committed to quality throughout the system. In early 1998, Caltex opened Cambodia's first modern marine depot. Tom Harrison opened the depot accompanied by Cambodian officials and the Cambodian Caltex staff. The depot currently has a 9,500 cubic meter capacity with room for future expansion. Product generally comes from Caltex's SBRC joint venture refinery in Thailand. The depot's fully automated gantries allows a truck to be loaded and dispatched within 10 minutes. From coastal supply to customer service, Caltex is a leader in modern and progressive fuel delivery. At this flagship station located on one of Cambodia's busiest intersections, Caltex consumers enjoy the best that any fuel facility can offer. The station pumps around 650,000 liters a month and carries two grades of Tecron gasolines. Features a loop bay, a real car wash, and a star mark, which is a new approach to marketing in Cambodia. The Caltex customer can purchase almost any basic product here, including a special Caltex introduction to the Cambodian market, the hot dog, which experts say tastes as good or better than any dog you can get in the U.S. Caltex is growing with the new modern and free market Cambodia through service, innovation, and quality products. Cambodia is growing from its simple ways to a more progressive face, but its mystery and mystique will always remain as a reminder of the diversity and innovation of the Cambodian people. Now for a Caltex financial update, here's Senior Vice President and Chief Financial Officer, Mac McCauley. Thank you, Gloria. At our mid-year financial update, both total and core earnings stood at over $300 million. This compared to an earnings target for the year of $350 million. In the third quarter, core earnings were below plan, although positive, and continued to improve to slightly over $337 million. On the other hand, total earnings for the third quarter were a loss. This resulted in year-to-date profits declining to around $205 million. Major contributors to the decline were $50 million related to currency movements due to the stronger local currencies and over $80 million in costs we recognized as one-time restructuring and reorganization expense. The negative currency effects continued in October and early indications are that they have moderated somewhat in November. For the remainder of the year, we expect continued low refining margins and because of the economic situation, below planned product sales. The bright spots worth noting are commendable overall cost reduction in most of our operations and the move January 1st to the new and more effective functional organization. Thank you. There is much more to come from the world of Caltex, but first, here's a Caltex commercial break. Your dream bike. It's powered by a 250cc engine. Redline, redlines at 9,000 RPM. But use the wrong engine oil. Now there's Caltex Revtex. Its anti-wear additive system bonds a wall of protection to the engine's moving parts. Keeps your engine going stronger for longer. Caltex Revtex. Last year, Caltex companies of Greater China sponsored a weekly television program promoting the sport of rugby as a fun, safe, recreational activity for Chinese children. The program, called the Caltex Rugby Show, has won a prestigious award in Hong Kong. The Excellence in Sports Marketing Awards promote sports sponsorships and the positive impact they can have for business, for the sport, and for the local community. At this ceremony, 
Caltex was honored to receive their Best Newcomer to Sports Sponsorship Award for the Caltex Rugby Show. We primarily look at it as, as a community service. We, there are tangible and intangible benefits. Uh, we promote the image of the company through the medium of television, um, and that's very important for us. We also support the program through our service stations and give, uh, we have various promotional activities going on through the service stations. We primarily want uh, the community to benefit, and we, we know with the Hong Kong Rugby Union that they wanted to expand the sport into the local community and we felt that this was a very effective way of promoting both Caltex, the rugby union and the sport. As part of the transition of our corporate core to Singapore, Cecilia Wong, personal assistant to the chairman, recently visited the Dallas office to receive some orientation. This was an opportunity for Cecilia to acquire hands-on experience with the executive support staff. Ms. Wong also visited with representatives of Chevron and Texaco. Caltex continues its growth in Vietnam. Two events in one day made October 6, 1998 a big day for Caltex Services PTE Limited. First, the Caltex Bitumen Terminal was officially commissioned in Haiphong by Caltex Bitumen Vietnam Limited, or CBVL. CBVL is a joint venture company of Caltex Services PTE Limited. The new terminal is impressive. It sits on a 4.5 hectare site on the Gia River and has substantial storage capacity and wharf facilities. CBVL will import, market and distribute bulk bitumen throughout Vietnam from here. I know you all share with me a great sense of pride that I have in completion of our terminal and in our progress as the first licensed joint venture with an American partner in Haiphong. In the Dinh Vu Industrial Zone, also in Haiphong, Caltex Lubricants Vietnam Limited, or CLVL, held a groundbreaking ceremony for construction of a lube oil blending and grease manufacturing plant. When completed, it will be the first such facility in northern Vietnam. CLVL is 100% owned by Caltex Services PTE Limited. That's our show for this time. We hope that 1999 is a rewarding year for all. We leave you now with more of the celebration which marked the opening of the Asian Games. Thanks for joining us for Caltech's Video Magazine. <laughs>